with that down, let's move on to the fourth main topic today. And our fourth main topic today gets sent to us from Omar94, who writes, Elizabeth Banks and Warner Brothers are rebooting The Flintstones, yep, uh, as an adult comedy. Seth MacFarlane tried bringing Flintstones back, but failed. I think that was back in like 2011. Thoughts? I don't like it yet because I love the original Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Maybe when I see footage, I'll change my mind. I'm mixed with remakes and reboots. Sometimes they'll work based on what's relevant in the world or if there's a market for it. Other times they're just unnecessary because if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, the first thing I would say to that, Omar, is no film in history has ever been necessary. It's always funny to me when somebody says, that film's not necessary. No film ever has been necessary. If any film ever that's ever been made didn't get made, the world would have gone on. No movie is necessary. The only question is, this movie, whether it's an original, a reboot, a sequel, an adaptation, whatever, can this movie be entertaining? And can it be successful? Those are the only questions that you need to ask. Not, is it necessary? Not, is it needed? No films ever are. The only questions you should ask is, could this movie be entertaining? And can it be successful? To me, those are the only two relevant questions. That's just me. You may have a different opinion, and that's fine. Your opinion is no less valid than mine. But the way I approach it is, can it be entertaining? Can it be successful? That's it. Will it deliver that experience? Will it be a good movie on our new list? That's all that matters. With Flintstones, I've got to admit, I was surprised when I saw this news. I was surprised when I saw this news. Now, my first thought, and I'm sure your first thought too, was, well, this must be a play for the new HBO Max, the new WB streaming service. But according to the reports, even though they're moving forward with this with Elizabeth Banks and her production company and Warner Brothers, as of right now, there's no exhibitor signed up for it. So that means it's not going to NBC. It's not going to HBO Max. Right now, they don't have any specific plan of destination for it, which tells me that it may not happen at all, but we'll keep our eyes on it. What about just in general the idea of doing a Flintstones adult primetime comedy? I'm intrigued. I mean, look, we got those kind of lame Flintstones live action movies back in the 80s and 90s, I believe. Uh, the one with Rick Moranis was in those playing Barney Rubble. Rosie O'Donnell played Betty. I think John Goodman played Fred, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, those weren't very good. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I'm down. I'm down. Why not? Uh, take, look, the original cartoon, and let's be honest here, a lot of people have never seen the Flintstones. As ridiculous as it is to think about that, there are a lot of people who've never watched a single episode of the Flintstones. This is a series that I believe ran from 1960 to 1966. I mean, before our time. Well, I mean, maybe some of you guys were around when that was out, but it's well before my time, and it's well before a lot of people's time. I think there's probably a lot of people never seen it. Plus, to do an adult take on it, I'm not talking R-rated, but to do an adult take on it in a modern context, it might be something that we're taking a shot at. Look, if I'm the head of Warner Brothers right now, okay, let's say I'm the head of the studio, I'm the head of, the, of Warner Media, and they come to me and say, hey, we want to relaunch uh, Plintstones, we're going to do it with Elizabeth Banks Company, blah, blah, blah. Do I green light it? I'm not sure that I do, to be honest with you. Because I don't know if it's a relevant title anymore. And that feels sacrilegious to say, how dare you say Flintstones isn't relevant. Flintstones isn't relevant. So I'm not sure I greenlight it. But at the same time, I can be convinced. I think it's a property that does carry some nostalgia for a certain segment of the demographic. I think if you take the comedy, adult comedy, kind of more mature approach to it, there could be some potential there. And it could be something that works and is really fun. So while I'm not positive that I would greenlight it as the head of Warner Media, I could see the argument for doing it. And I think maybe it's worth taking a shot at. I think it's worth taking a shot at. I'm at least interested. Am I jumping up and down with excitement for this thing? No. But am I intrigued? Yes. I'm also really curious to see where it's going to land. I, I still think, even though they're saying they don't know yet, this sounds to me like something that is going to be destined for the new HBO Max, the Warner Brothers streaming service. I think that's probably where it's going to end up, but I'm not sure. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's worth taking a shot at a new adult-themed comedy Flintstone series? Do you think there's an audience for it? And if so, where do you think this thing's going to end up? Jump on down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. All right.